Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm just going to be showing you a couple of the customizations that you can do to the code that MailChimp give you for your form. Um, basically just to kind of make your form more visually appealing, you can change the colours and whatnot, and you're going to be doing this within your WordPress website. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to be showing you how to basically um, customise your whole WordPress form so that it looks more like this. You can see here I have two forms in. Um, this is my one that I've actually customised and this is the one that I haven't done anything with. Um, only make it horizontal. If you would like to know how to embed it or make it horizontal, I do have videos about that and the links will be in the description. So you can watch them if you want to get up to this point. But um, you can see basically they're the same form except they just look quite different and uh, I'm going to show you how to make this one look exactly like this one and uh, it just makes it look a lot more visually appealing and you know it's easier to get people to subscribe if um, it looks like this rather than like this. So the first thing we're going to do is I have my little list here of things we're going to do. So we're going to go into our new code and the first thing you want to do is change the div ID just because uh, you want to edit this sign up and you might want other sign ups to look different so I just want to um, change that one. The next thing you're going to do is just change, take out this background and change it to none. So we're just going to uh, save that and the next thing you want to do is go down to uh, label for field group and just take out the labels for the field groups because we're actually going to have the text uh, in our as you can see here, it's going to be in our actual spaces rather than up above it. So we're just going to take out these labels, um, this one as well, and whatever many fields you have, just make sure you take out the label. Now, when I'm taking out code here, make sure you only take out exactly the code that I take out because otherwise you could actually break your form and it won't work at all. Um, so we're going to click Save Changes and see how it's looking now. Okay, so you can see now that the labels from the top of them are gone. However, um, there's no actual labels in the fields now, so we're going to have to put them in. So when you go to your code, you want to go down to uh, value. So you want to find your uh, MC field group and you want to find value and you want to put in first name into the one for first name or whatever you know the, t the title of your field was you want to put it in for value in between the two quotation marks and then here I have email so whatever your fields are put in these then what you want to do is I'm going to put in a small bit of code into the um, comments here it is just on focus on blur copy this code and you want to put uh, paste it in just right here in between the ID, the end of the ID, so this quotation mark here and this ending tag. So we're just going to paste it in here and do the same for the other one. I'm not going to do the same right now, but that's what you do. Just do the same for the other one. Click Save Changes and we look at this now. And basically what that does is um, before when you clicked on your field, the person would have to delete um, so the person would have had to see if I click here, they have to delete email, which is very annoying. Whereas when I click here, it disappears automatically, which is perfect. So that is basically our kind of technical stuff done. And now we're just going to style it. So uh, next I have my little list. Um, so you want to customize the text on the button. So if you go into your um, raw HTML again and go down to the end and you have your button. Um, so there we have, um, here's our button. So if you want to customize the text, you can uh, change this value here. So you can change it to whatever you want. You can see at the top I have start your website. So if you want to change that to start your website, I'll just say start for now so you can see how it works. And uh, also if you want to change the class to subscribe button um, because that means that you're, if there's other buttons on the page, you won't be customizing them. Uh, it's you're just customizing this button. So if we save changes again and preview, and there you can see this button now looks exactly like this. Now it might not straight away because obviously I already have my code in for this one. Um, but the text has changed. And then what you want to do, it probably won't look like that, but you're going to go to your CSS and you can put in hashtag homepage sign up dot subscribe button. And then you can put in your CSS the way you want it. So I have my background color set to whatever I want. I have my border radius. That means basically how rounded the edges are. So if you remember before I put that in, um, the edges were square. So uh, now they're round. Then I have um, the border color. I have my uh, color of my text and I have my font size so they're all in there um, I'll put all this code in and you can kind of customize it the way you want and then in I have homepage sign up dot subscribe button and this little um, 
colon and then hover. So that means when I hover over it, you can see it changes color. Uh, so you can do that yourself as well. Background color just changes color and then display is inline block because um, that means that this will be in line. Now it's actually in line anyway from the uh, horizontal tutorial that I did, but this is just to definitely make sure. So there you have it, Um, your thing is in line. Okay, so now we're just, we're, all you have left to do is just to customize our fields. So uh, we have our uh, first name and our email, and we're gonna make them look like this. So if you go into your, um, so if you say changes and go into your raw HTML and then you can go down to your uh, MC field group again and you can just change this uh, to or change your class put in a class here and change put it to uh, whatever you want so for me I'm going to go with uh, sign up sign up name and I will go with uh, required email so save changes and we're going to go to our CSS. You can see here I have a uh, required email and sign up name. I have them set so that the color is this and the background color is white. And then when I save changes the and preview, uh, they that's the way they look. So they look like this. Now, as you can see, my first name is in like that. For some reason, my email didn't do it. So I might just change that around. Have a quick look at what's going on. So as you can see, I just need to put in a little dash here in between required email. Make sure that uh, if you're setting CSS and you're making a class, make sure they just match exactly because there's been times when I've set my CSS and I'm thinking, why isn't it working? And you spend ages trying to figure out why it's, work why it's not working. And you actually just slightly mistyped this into the CSS. So if I ch save changes now and preview, now you can see this looks exactly like this. The only thing that's different is subscribe to our mailing list, which we can change easily. We already did that in WordPress or in MailChimp, but if you did want to change it here, you can just go and um, if you if you did want to change it here, you can just go to the, the, go to this H two and you can just change that text right here. Um, so that's pretty much it. The only thing that's left is to change is to move it over. As you can see, it's right over onto the side. So I'm just going to copy the uh, margin. So I have 175 px on the left, 40 on the right, and minus 30 on the top. So if I just do this, oh, if I just go down to my uh, code and go to my margins. So I have 175. Uh, I have minus 30, and I have 40 on the right. Just click save changes, preview. And as you can see, uh, this form is right in here. So as you can see, um, in my other form, you might be wondering why this text is actually so close to it, whereas this one isn't. And the reason why is I actually set this as this text as separate. So then that way I could uh, move them closer together. So that might be something you might think of doing. Take out the H2 in this HTML and just put your own little bit of text above it because that way you can actually move them closer together using the WP Bakery uh, margins and whatnot. So that will be handy. But as I say, your form is now actually set up. It's looking really nice. It's looking much better than it was. And this way it'll be more visually appealing for everyone coming onto your website. Uh, so I hope this helps, guys. And let me know in the comments if it doesn't work for you and I'll try my best to help you out. Thanks very much, guys. So there you have it. I hope your form is probably looking a bit nicer now. So I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. That would mean a lot. And um, if you'd like to leave a comment and let me know what video you'd like to see me do in the future, that would be really helpful. Um, thanks very much, guys. I hope this helped.